Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a detailed gaming review of Nokia 8 smartphone. It comes with Snapdragon 835 processor, Adreno 540 GPU, 4 GB of RAM and it runs on Android 7.1 OS. We got few of the most popular and high-end games here and we will play them on the heavy graphics setting and at the highest possible FPS and we will see that how good our Nokia 8 is going to perform. So let's just start it. So first of all, let's just start with Asphalt Extreme, one of the most popular racing game. The volume is full now as you can see here. And the graphic quality is really nice. There is no frame drop, no lagging. Everything is so nice and smooth. Okay, so my hand is covering the speaker sometimes because of its position as you can see here Okay, I read So everything was so nice and smooth. So now let's go back from here and let's play something else. Uh, let's play Modern Combat. You can see that the graphics quality is so nice on modern combat as well there is no frame drop, no lagging, the touch screen sensitivity is nice here as well.
So here I go, I'm dead now. But as you could see that the performance of Nokia 8 was really nice while playing Modern Combat 5. And now let's play Suicide Squad. So you can see that it is a 360 game and the 3D graphics rendering is really nice in every direction you can see so nice, so smooth, no lagging, no frame drops, so it's really good. So now let's go back from here and let's play Asphalt Extreme once again. And uh, what I'm trying to show you here is that I was playing the Asphalt Extreme and then I started playing the Modern Combat and after that I went to Society Squad without closing any of these games. And when I came back to Asphalt Extreme the game is exactly where I have left it. So you can see that the performance of 4GB RAM is really nice and you can do some multitasking and play few high-end games side by side without worrying about any force closing of the game. So at least it can survive two or three heavy graphics high-end games like Sport Extreme, Suicide Squad and Modern Combat for sure. So for example if I go back from here to Modern Combat 5. So you can see that the game is exactly where I have left it and it's reconnecting to the server and it will start right from there. And now let's try with the Suicide Squad. And you can see that the game is paused now. I can just tap on continue and can start playing games once again. So this is really nice if you're a gamer and multitasker you will like this thing for sure. And as you can see that the graphics quality of any game on Nokia 8 is really nice. So let's go back from here. Let's close all of the games that we were playing and lots of social media application in the background. And now let's play Injustice. I'm not so good in this game, but I'm just trying to give you an idea if you're going to play, so what will happen. You can see that the graphics quality is brilliant. There I go.
Okay. So, my game is over, but you could see that the performance of Nokia it was really nice. Especially the graphics quality was brilliant in this game. So, let's play one more game, and that's going to be Cover Fire. So you can see that the graphic quality is so nice in this game here as well. It's a 3D graphics game and there is no lag, no frame drops, it's so smooth, everything is so nice. So I'm running out of the light, I guess. As you can see that the graphics quality was really nice in this game here as well. So after playing all these games for a while, the back panel is a bit warm. It's a full metal body smartphone and we were playing few of the most high end games, most heavy graphics game and because of that the back panel is obviously a bit warm and it's not at a particular point, nearly the entire back panel is warm right now. But if you're talking about the gaming experience, the performance of Nokia 8 was really nice. The graphics quality is brilliant, everything is so nice and smooth, sensors are performing really nice, the RAM is performing so nice, the memory management is really great. You can play at least two or three heavy graphics games side by side, do some multitasking here as well. Uh, the only problem was like when I was playing a Sport Extreme, so because of the position of the speaker sometimes not all the time my fingers were covering the speaker and the sound was uh, getting distorted because of that other than that everything is so nice so smooth and great while playing high-end games on nokia 8 another thing as i mentioned like the back panel is slightly warm so if you're a gamer you're gonna love this device for sure thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this and i'll see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day